Um, I wanted to ask you, we were talking about different ideas in income. Um, there's a word out there, you know, a lot of people don't understand. A lot of fear around the word annuity. Sure. You know, um, I happen to like annuities. I think they serve a purpose. I think sure. an important purpose. Would you talk to us a little bit about some of the fears that people have around annuities? And are they a good thing? Are they a bad thing? What sure. should they look for? I mean, how much time do we have left? <laughs> we got plenty of time. So I, I think there are a couple of things. I, the first caveat is to understand that, one, annuities aren't for everyone, mm -hmm. right? I think the first thing that we can appreciate is that not everybody should have an annuity. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to make sure that, you know, again, why am I buying this, right? Yeah. What is the reason for this purchase? But, you know, there are variable annuities, which um, a lot of talking heads in the financial world dislike strongly. And to be fair, I agree with them most of the time, right? They're expensive. They have higher fees, you know, they're trying to put all of these different bells and whistles into one product, and each bell and whistle they add on, you pay for, right? right. So your ability to grow money is greatly diminished. So variable annuities aren't something that I really use with my clients because they're expensive. There's mm -hmm. a lot of issues with them. But with that said, they can still be great products, right, depending on if they're used correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, there are fixed annuities, a different type of annuity out there that's basically a CD. Right? There's um, a SPIA, uh, SPIA, which is basically a, a pension, right? When people talk about generating income every month until they pass away, yeah. guaranteed for life, that's an immediate annuity. You say guaranteed for life? Guaranteed for life. But the problem with that is, is that if you pass away, all of that value, all of that cash value that you had in that annuity is gone. Mm. Now, what I will use with my clients from time to time are fixed index annuities. And they're appropriate for a lot of people because you know, if you look at stocks and mutual funds as a heart monitor, right? They go up and down, up and down, up and down, and mm. you know, which is fine when you're working, right? You're working for the next 20, 30 years. You should you should deal with that roller coaster. That's okay. But what I like about a fixed index annuity is that it goes from a roller coaster to a staircase, right? Uh, you're either making money or you're staying flat. You're not losing anything, right? Yeah. You're either making money or you're staying flat. And so for my clients, I look at those as alternatives for a number of things. I look at them as alternative to bonds. Right, because you know, even though I think they were very excited, the interest rates went up to 1.6 yeah. or 1.7 percent for the 10-year Treasury <laughs> right. note, yeah. which is great. Yeah, exciting. But, yeah, right. <laughs> but you know, if we can average three, four percent, you yeah. know, which isn't overwhelming, but it's you know, we're, we're keeping pace with inflation and yeah. we're generating enough growth within that to to beat inflation. You know, that's really all we're looking for, right? Yeah. And so, for my clients, uh, I feel like they can get better value there. And also, there, there's no fees on that, so I like them. Good stuff, good stuff.